Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix your import lag on your PS4 or the latency that you are having. Also guys, you can go ahead and join Fix on the PSN communities if you still have problems during this video. And let's go on for the first fix that a lot of people actually don't know. The first fix is gonna be the PS4 controller itself. So sometimes people have their old controller still that doesn't like have a blue light. It could be happening because your controller is just too old or isn't working well with Bluetooth. And what you can do for that is you can connect a USB cable to your PS4. So once you do that, there will always be no latency at all. And how can you notice this? You can notice this by playing a multiplayer game or a fighting game, for example, or a war game. So if this isn't your problem and if it's like more a multiplayer problem, for example, you play multiplayer and you have a lot of lag, this is not your PS4 or your controller itself. So a lot of people actually don't know, but you have maybe a high ping. And it's like the latency on your network. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings and go to network. And what you want to do is you want to go to test internet connection. But a lot of people actually don't know is that LAN cable is always going to be better than Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you some proof, guys. So I'm going to test my internet connection on LAN cable right now. I'm connected to LAN cable. Also guys, can you if you can please like and subscribe, thank you so much. You maybe get a little bit more luck by helping me out. And like you see on my screen, I have about 37 Mbps or megabits. And I think my ping is gonna be really low, the latency. And let's go to Wi-Fi. Now we are connected to Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is gonna take a little bit longer. But what if this isn't your problem? I'm also gonna show you another fix. Let's see the connection speed on downloads. And like you see, it's like almost two times more worse to use the Wi-Fi than LAN cable. So if you have a LAN cable in your room or anywhere else, I suggest you guys to connect it to your router. It's always gonna be better. And sometimes it's gonna make a lot of difference. I've seen people that only had like one Mbps and they got like 40 Mbps by just using LAN cable. So keep sticking with LAN cable, it's always gonna be great. And how much Mbps do you need? It all depends on the multiplayer game that you are playing. For example, if you are playing Ground War on Modern Warfare, about like 60 players, you want to have at least, I think, about 15 Mbps or megabits to play it without any lag or something like that. So what if you don't have a LAN cable or maybe it's just too far from your router? It could all happen. I understand what you can do is you can go to set up internet connection and you can also try this even on LAN cable so if you want even better connection on your LAN cable you can also use this method it's gonna be all the same so let's go to Wi-Fi and this is for the people that have Wi-Fi so what you want to do is you want to go to custom on custom choose your internet connection Also guys, I want you to comment down below what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you really quick on DCP host name. On DNS settings, you want to click on manual. So I am already using a DNS code like you see. And this DNS code can work for like some people or maybe they don't work out for you. So what I suggest you guys to do is for right now, fill in my primary DNS and the secondary DNS that I'm using right now and try to test your internet connection. If your internet connection gets better, you want to keep using that DNS code. But if it gets worse, what you want to do simply is just delete it all and press on next 
or you can just change it to automatic so i'm gonna show you another dns code so if you didn't have the time to fill it all in you can just go ahead and do it and by just pausing the video so let's go for the dns codes if this dns code doesn't really work well for you you can also use this By the way guys, if I sound a bit weird, it's because I am a bit sick making this video. And on the secondary DNS you want to fill in. Also guys, like I said, it depends all on the country where you live on or the location. So for some people, these DNS codes won't work out for them, but for some people will. You can always test it out because actually people don't know in multiplayer games, you can have a lot of ping and that could be a reason why you have this error i mean this latency so once you fill that in and you tested your internet connection what you also can use is you can use this one and also don't forget guys these are all free to use and these are all safe to use. For example, 8tag 8tag 8, it's from Google itself. It's free open DNS. And some people think that they need to pay some type of service to let it in work. It's not true, guys. You can always use these. And what you want to do is just press on next. And on empty settings, you want to click on automatic. On proxy server, you just don't want to use it. And you can just go ahead and test your internet connection. So what could be the next reason too? It could be happening that actually your TV is the problem. And what you can do for that is you can change your screen. So let's go to menu and go to screen. Mine is in a little bit different language, but it doesn't really matter and just click on this and you have this modus like you see and spell means games or I mean game on mine so you can just change that if you want to you want to change it to game the reason why is it will fix more your input lag on your TV itself but if you have a monitor it will be always better than using a normal TV that you just watch TV on it there will be a slightly difference on your graphics, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be fixing your input lag a little bit. You won't actually even notice that. And, but once you are playing like a game, you will notice it a little bit. But what if you have a monitor? So if you have a monitor, I suggest you guys to use it. The reason why is the latency on the TV is gonna be a lot more than the monitors. But I don't really understand why you can't see your ping on the PS4. But on the Xbox One, you can actually see it and see your latency too. And it will just tell you how much you have. For example, if you have 300, you can just get it down to about like 10 between 30. And you can't see that really on the PS4. You can just notice that by a little bit of on the download speed and upload speed how higher it is it's gonna be a lot better but it's always not gonna be the same because some people each even have like 40 mbps and they have like a really high and like a ping about like 300 and that's really bad so if you use one of my methods on the Wi-Fi and the LAN cable one, you will be maybe fixing this problem because once you use a LAN cable, it will be directly con connected to your router and all the other things gonna go faster. So what if you still have problems during this video? What you also can do is you can go ahead and join error fix. Or you can just go ahead and join Curie and we will help you around. So there are about like 8,000 people for right now. But once you are watching this video, it's going to be a lot more. This community is growing really fast, actually. And I created another community 
So we can just search up error fix. On here, like you see, this is the first community and these one are created by me too, but this one isn't. This error fixed is not my community and this is not my community either. If if the creator is Kiri or Jiri, like you see on here, it's me. This is me, for example. But if the creator is someone else, it's not from mine. But like you see, I have on a different account on members, like Jiri. That's my second account, actually. That's me. So I just want to let you guys know which community is mine because some people join actually a different community that isn't mine. And by the way, guys, I'm going to end the video right now. So if you please can like and subscribe and also comment down below which DNS code works the best for you on which location. So I wonder what works the best for you. And also, guys, take care of yourself. Goodbye.